Hello, so so um, I am back down the Fen Road fishing an OPEG that I I do like actually. Peg 29 is down in the, the deeper end of the lake um, for 48 hours. I'm sit, starting this now on the back of I've already done one night and Eddie's gone home already. So uh, yeah, so the first night I turned up. Um, Eddie was busy busy all over the place. Uh, I managed to get a bit of bait out. So the fish I had at 3.40 a.m. Um, I literally got it in the net. Put the net and rod down, tucked it in, started getting the cradle and everything ready, get, get the cameras ready. And taking account, it was pitch black, I heard the sort of like rumble of like big splashing in, in the net. And as I turned around, I literally saw the fish just sort of like breach the side of the net and just flop back into the lake. I, I, I run over, the fish had spat the hook, and the hook was sitting in the bottom of the net. So when I lifted the rod up, I pulled the net up and everything, and they got the hook really tangled in the net. So it was three o'clock in the morning, just battled what looked like. I would, I'm looking down at it, I would have guessed about. 23, 24 pound common, it was big, thick common and long. Um, so a bit gutted about that. So, um, so the first fish, yes, I landed it, it was in the net. No photos, nothing, I don't know the weight. So I'm, I'm just guessing it's one of the big commons in here. Um, yeah, so that was on double bottom bait, I believe. Set up a rig to fish double bottom bait because everyone seems to be fishing Ronnie rigs and stuff like that on here or pop ups and. Is the fish lake's gone a bit dead, so I thought I'd try something a little bit different. I haven't fished double bottom baits for a long, long while, so uh, yes. So the baits, yes, I'm using this roll. Um, what have we got? The MB1 Plus, the freezer range. Um, got a five kilo bag of that. I've smashed my way through most of that today. Baiting up. Yeah, and then seven o'clock in the morning, uh, I had a fish run off on the on the MB1 Ronnie rig setter. And again, ridiculously hard fighting common. Got it in the net. Here's a little bit of footage of it. First or second run, first fish to actually make it to the cradle. Oh, and here we go. We're gonna stay in shot. We're gonna wander around. There we go. Twenty-one pounds, four ounces. Absolutely. Again. Massive fight. <laughs> Don't, don't poke him in the mouth, Ed. Just hold him, yeah? Good boy. Yes, uh, on, an, on, the, on the MB1 pop-up again, MB1 Plus. Uh, careful. So these are the other side of this uh, hard fight in common. You see by the paddle of that, it's got a lot of kick behind it. But yeah, another, another bit of success on the uh, MB1 Plus. Lovely. Let's uh, slip him back, Ed, right? Yeah, let go of the tail. Oh, oh. Uh, there she goes. So the day's plodded on, uh, Rachel's come and picked Eddie up. William was supposed to come down but he was playing in his cousin's house so he didn't want to come. Uh, so it's just me, I've got a lovely peaceful 24 hours left of the session. So uh, I've literally got uh, where's my bucket? <coughs> proper mix to go out later on, mainly boilies, Bit of particle. It's I think it's 50-50 boilies, particles, and ten pellets. So I've got the Mistral ten pellets, Mistral's MB1, and some boiled up pigeon conditioner. And I believe this one's been flavoured after I finish boiling it with um, spirulina shellfish because I can smell that coming off it. Um, the ones I got in the freezer now are, are the fruit bomb. So uh, yeah, so I'm going to put another sprinkle in a bait out over two spots like I did last night, and I'm going to leave the margin spot. I did quite heavily beat that quite heavily.
Right, right then, it's... Right, so I'm over 24 hours into my 48 hour session. I'm um, coming into the evening of the second night. I've spent the last probably an hour putting bait out back on the spot where I had fish last night. 10 wraps directly in front of me. Then straight over to that lily pads, I put another six or seven uh, spawns. Then I put another half a bucket, or well, not half a bucket, just half of what I had left um, around the edge of the lilies. And I dropped a bit in there, dropped a bit in there. Um, seen fizzing on the small patch of lilies already, so I'm feeling quite confident that uh, we'll get a fish before it gets dark. <laughs> I just said it's really hard fighting Coleman in the net. I'm literally setting up the cameras again, except this time <laughs> the other rod screams off. So, uh, here we go. So I've got one in the one in the sling, one in the net. So I'm going to quickly do this one. I've weighed this one already, but absolutely peach, a peach, absolutely lovely Coleman, dark as you like. Quite in well above its weight. I think it was seventeen pound five. <sighs> Do you know when you got a net to fish and you just miss it, and it manages to flip back and then fight you for another fifteen minutes? That's just what this one done. Um, this was on. Uh, this was on a uh, MB1 wafter on a Ronnie on the baited area, the heavily baited area in the margins. That, uh, so obviously he's had a good feed, full of energy. Picked up the bait and run for it, but uh, still, second fish, well, third fish of the second session, second one on camera. Right, let's slip this one back. Time for the second run. This. I don't know if you can see it. Lovely big plated mirror in there. So I'm going to quickly reset everything. Make sure the scales are zeroed and I'll be back on the mat. Right, so this is effectively my biggest fish from the fend rod. Be nice if these come out in daylight, I tell you. Oh, fuck. There we go. Nearly ten pound heavier than the last fish. Twenty-five pounds too. It's absolutely stunning. Zip linear from the fen road. Okay, here's the other side. Sound a few bit heavy now. Playing up then as I try to pick it up for the second time. But uh, it's all right. Look at the size of it. it. Fills the screen. Awesome, awesome fish. Like I said already, I think it's the biggest, my biggest fish from the fender so far. 25.2. Well, happy. <laughs> Just shame neither William or Edward are here. William was supposed to stay, but he wasn't, so he's uh, just me. Never mind. Let's slip this one back. Straight away. So I'm back to the bivy, I've got the, the Ronnie rig that I've been using. It's counted for two of the fish this session. I should say two of the runs. Another big mirror. I 
Well, well, it looked like it was going to be a bit of a bum session after that comment, jumping out the net. But this is my second 20 plus mirror of the night 22.8. Lovely, lovely chunky scales running along his back. And it battled and it battled and battled. And it, um, yeah, mess of a rig somehow. With a lead and po shot up straight past the, the leader. So, and you're behaving quite well, yeah. Stick around. This was on an MB1 pop up on a, on a Ronnie rig. So I've had them on <laughs> last night, I've had them on wafters, bot baits, and uh, pop ups. So lovely stuff. It's well worth it, isn't it? What is it? It's, it's 320s in the session for me, and I'm not even in France. <laughs> that was a bit of a, a hectic night. Um, I feel like I haven't slept at all. Um, so, <sighs> and the rods are back out. Oh, me, doo -doo. There we go. Back on the baited spots. I'm going to see if I can get a few more hours sleep. boys have brought me breakfast and literally as it turned up we've had the sixth run of the session a lovely 19 pound four ounce common reckon well yeah why are you sulking so we put it all there 19 pounds four common it's a mirror it's a it's a starburst oh, scale ah. mirror 19 pounds four Really heavy as well. I can hold it with it. On an MB1 wafter. Yeah. Right. There we go. And here's the other side of this starboard scale mirror. William has gone off to wash his hands. Yeah. And Eddie's gonna hold that. And William don't want to do that. Alright, oh, William doesn't want to hold it. There we are, another one on the MB1 wafter. I think it is. That was a lovely common, wasn't it, Will? Yeah, that, that was no common. <laughs> what was it? It was a fish, and it was a mirror. It was a, yeah, you know the difference, didn't you? So that was the sixth fish on the bank, well, in the net. The fifth one, I got to weigh and take photo of. Oof, that's quite a good little session for the fen rod, especially as now four of them have been 20 pound fish. Well, I'm taking the first one, I would have said it's got to be a 20 pound fish because it was bigger than the 21 pounder, but you never know. Right. So, that's me. Just going to load the car now. Um, do you know what? When I first came, when I first got here, and Eddie was going mad, super busy, um, I didn't get much filming done. And then the first fish I managed to bank or finish, managed to net, jumped up the net. I just thought, oh, this is awful. I, should, I, I honestly thought about packing up the next morning and just thinking, knock that one on the head. It was a bad session. But uh, 
So if I do count that one that, uh, that jumped out the net when I was sorting out the cameras, that's six fish in total. Nothing. And uh, was it the smallest is 17 pound, biggest is 25 pounds. That's, that's that's awesome. Four four potential 20s in that hole. <laughs> I'm glad I didn't knock it in the head. Right. Yes. Uh, what have I to say? So bait wise. Bait wise, MB1 all the way. Um, I had wafters, bottom baits, and pop ups, fish on all of them. Um, yeah, so I can't fail that really. Um, I don't know, I think my head's got a bit. I, I didn't expect that much action. So it, uh, and, and the new Lake PB is the biggest fish I've had at the Federal 25 pound, too. That's an, <laughs> awesome. Right. Um, I'll see you next time I'm on the bank. This, all right. Cheers. Ta-da.